Team Dynamics has desktops, which you can customize by creating your own safe searches and reports to populate them. Let's start by creating a safe search. I'm going to go to a ticketing app like SBU IT Tickets and click into Tickets. And when I want to save a search, I'm going to start by filtering the results in this list here. So I'll click on the filter icon near the top right. Let's imagine I want to see all of the reopened and resolved tickets for my teams. In this options, I'm going to find current status. And instead of selecting all of the options here, I just want resolved and reopened. And then when I scroll down under group responsibility, I want to add my groups. So I'll click on the magnifying glass icon. And I belong to several groups. I belong to ATS groups, so I'll check both of those. And I belong to training and development group. So I'll check that and then I will click on insert checked and it will add all my groups. A quick word on how the options work when you're filtering the list of tickets here. If you have more than one of these fields populated, it will filter so that this is true and this is true. So it has to be resolved or reopened and one of these groups. So in other words, within any one option, those will be applying or logic, but between multiple options, it's and logic. I can't also fill in responsibility because if I try to put my name in, remember that these are and filters, so it's only going to return results that are within these groups and that I'm responsible for. So if I want to see tickets that other people are responsible for within these groups, for searches, I can't add responsibility and group. So I have populated what I want on here and I'm going to scroll up to the top and click apply and I will see the results. One feature you have in this list is the group by option. So I could click on group by and select how I want to view these. So in this case, I might choose status and then it would show me the status heading for each group. I only have one here, so I don't see the other headings. But the important thing to know is that in this feature of saving a search, I can't modify the columns that appear across the top beyond the selections in this little drop down here for column selector. So in this case, I don't need to see the type, the type category, the account, the due date, so I can uncheck those and then I will see these columns. But I can't add anything. Like I can't add the date that this was created, for example. In order to be able to add this to a desktop, I need to save it as a search. So I will click on Save Search and I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to call it Resolved Reopen Tickets. Some people have an option to check global. Well, that would make this available to everyone. I'm going to leave it unchecked for now and I will click Save. Now my search is going to be available from the My Save Searches dropdown, Resolved Reopen Tickets. If you want to be able to customize this view more, that would be in Reports. So let's create the same kind of view in Reports and we'll take a look at the options there. I'm going to click on the Plus Report option and click Report. And I want to create a ticket report. I'm going to name it Resolved Reopened Report. And the next option I have is selecting the columns I would like to see. So this is where I can take away things I don't need, like I don't need the type, I don't need accounting department, for example. And if I want to, I can add fields in here. So this doesn't include the created date now. Let's add that in. So I'm going to click on Add and scroll down to find the new drop down here. And this one, I want to choose when this was created, which is the created option. And I'm gonna actually drag this up to the top. So it is one of the first columns, perfect. Now, as I scroll down, this is where you have a lot more power in reports through the filtering. And that is because when I click on show advanced, I can use and and or rules with my filters in more intricate ways than I can in searches. So in this case, I want to say Say the status. So I'm going to go into the drop down here and I'm going to scroll down to status. The status, and I want to have things that are status is one of, and then I'm just going to hold down the command or control key and select my two statuses of resolved and reopened, and that would apply there. Then I also wanted to choose anything that was in one of my groups. So I'm going to click on this drop down here and I'm going to go to responsible, and the responsible terms have their own section down here under responsibility and there is a couple different types of responsible fields. 
Whenever you see primary responsible or primary responsible group, that means someone who is responsible for the ticket. When you see responsible or responsible group, that means anyone who is responsible for, for the ticket or a task on it or any kind of side items on a ticket. So for this, I'm just going to choose responsible group option. And it does also say responsible group current. So let me show you how you can look up more information about what these terms mean. I'm going to click off this drop down for now and click help. And this opens up a key of all of these. So I'm going to type in responsible group. So responsible group is a group who's responsible for the ticket either directly on it or through it. The responsible group current is who is responsible for it either on the ticket or through an active task that has not yet been completed. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the responsible group field. So when I go back in here I'm going to click this and scroll down responsible group and is one of and then I can click on the magnifying glass and choose my groups just like I did before. So I'm going to search for ATS, check on those, search for training, check on that and then choose insert selected. So it's going to choose any one that those are a group of. In save searches I wasn't able to add myself as a responsible person either because it didn't end search but here I can add it. So I'm going to add responsibility and I'm going to choose is one of and I will choose current user to also find anything that I am responsible for that didn't fall into one of these groups, which is unlikely, but just in case. Now when I show advanced, here's where I can use AND and OR Boolean operators to specify what I want. So I want one to apply, and then I want two or three. So I'm going to use this syntax, one and two or three, with those OR options within parentheses, Next, I can choose the order I want my report to be in, and I'm going to say I want it to be sorted by the date created, descending. I can organize my report, so if I want to put this in a folder I created, perhaps my reports folder, I can do that. I can choose visibility. I'm going to again keep this just so that I can see it, but if I'm creating a report my team wants to use, I can make it owner and people in specific groups. If applicable, you can actually add a chart to these. This works best when you have an aggregated count. In this case, the chart won't really apply, so I'm not going to add it. If you do have a chart, you can choose which to view when you add this report to a desktop, the table, the grid, or that chart you added. And finally, you can schedule this report to be sent to people via email. For now, I'm just going to click save and run at the top and I will see my report here. So this is pretty similar to the search I saved in searches, but the difference here is I can tweak this more. I was able to add a created column, which I couldn't add in searches. So now that my report is created, I added it to a report folder, the my reports folder, and I will see it here in the list on the left. Or when I'm in my ticketing app, I can click over onto reports and I will see it in this list here as well. I can use the search to jump right to it. If I search for resolve, for example, open up that report and it might seem like it's empty. All I need to do though is click run report to see the results. Okay, so I can add these saved searches and reports to the desktop app or to the desktop within a specific application. Just keep in mind wherever the data comes from, it can only go in a desktop in that or in the desktop overall app. So let's create a new desktop with these two reports so we can see them side by side. So I am in the desktop app. This place allows you to have more than one desktop. If you are in an individual ticketing app like SBU IT Tickets, there's only one desktop there, but you can choose to edit that and add whatever you want in there. I'm going to go back to the desktop app, choose a new desktop, and I'm going to call this demo desktop for now. Click on save. My next option is the layout. So when I click on edit layout, it brings me these different view options of how the desktop is divided up. I'm going to keep it on this 50-50-1-2 field. Click on that and it will apply. And now I'm going to search through for those options. So the first thing I can do is scroll down through and click on the different options here and scroll through and see what I want. There's a lot of options here though, so that can be tricky. So because I remember the name of the search and the report I want to add, I'm going to use the search field instead. I gave both the word resolved and the title. So when I type in resolved, I will see two options here. One is SBU IT tickets reports option and the other is SBU IT tickets searches option. And those are really helpful to see where this is coming from, reports or searches. So I'm going to drag them into my column. So I'll put the search on the left in column one and the report in column two. 
So once I've dragged those in there, the one other thing I want to do in the Details tab is check the box for Enable Auto Refresh. And then about every five minutes, these reports and searches will refresh in my desktop. OK, I'll go ahead and click on Save, close out of that. And then I want to refresh my view here. And then in the top right, I'll go to the Desktop Chooser dropdown and choose that Demo Desktop and I'll see my options here. Now these look very similar, but you'll notice that there's a couple differences here. My searches, when I look in the top right corner, I'll see a gear. And I click on that and I can see here there's some settings I can modify for my search. So for example, how many am I going to see in this view and how is it going to be ordered? So I can modify those if I want to, but I'll click close for now. And my reports, on the other hand, have the eye details icon. When I click on that, it opens up information about how this was created and designed and what kind of rules are applied. If I created it, in which case I did, I can click Edit here to modify the port directly from this window. So these are two great tools to really customize your desktops to make them look the way you want. Save searches and reports.